bandages right up to the top of his head, all round his ears. Flora's worried about Griffin. I had a terrible feeling last night. I felt he was in desperate trouble. He meddled in things men should leave alone. Not the slightest clue. That's where the clues are. He wasn't leaving anything to chance. There must be a way back. God knows there's a way back. What are you doing here? Only you just leave me alone. It's the stranger with the goggles. He's gone mad. You're crazy to know who I am, aren't you? All right, I'll show you. <laughs> Let me be your madness when you're peering through the keyholes and peeping through the curtains. And now you'll suffer for it. <laughs> but why? Why do it, Griffin? Just a scientific experiment at first, to do something no other man in the world had done. Suddenly I realized the power I held, the power to rule, to make the world corroborate my feet. You know who the Invisible Man is, Doctor. Where is Dr. Griffin? What's the good of concealing it? Oh, come and stay with us. Let's fight this thing out together. Police, quickly. The Invisible Man is in my house. He's mad. He's killed a man tonight. Believe me, as surely as the moon will set and the sun will rise, I shall kill you tomorrow night. The secret of invisibility lies there in my books. Don't you see what it means? Power. Power to walk into the gold vaults of the nations, into the secrets of kings, into the holy of holies. Power to make multitudes run squealing in terror at the touch of my little invisible finger. Frightened of me. The whole world's frightened to death. I'll lay traps that even an invisible man can't pass. Radio stations now. Watch the wall. Help! Help! He's here! He's here! <laughs> here we go gathering nuts and may on a cold and frosty morning. Whoops!